Today I am going to begin prepping this bus so that I can get it painted. A lot of stuff has to happen to this bus before I can paint it, and so that means it is going to take me a while. But I'm going to try to break it down into sections so that it doesn't feel quite so bad. But all the stuff I have to do is really pretty straightforward. The first thing I have to do is I have to take a ton of stuff off of the bus. I have to take the grills off the bus. I have to take the mirrors off the bus. All of the school related items, things like the stop sign and the arm bar in the front, all of that has to come off of the bus. On top of that, all of the lights are going to be replaced with LEDs. So I am going to use this opportunity to take all of the lights off the bus so that I can have better access to paint. I have to get all of that black side trim back on the bus. I added sheet metal to the rear and to the sides, so that means all of the old holes probably won't line up with the trim, and I'll probably have to re-drill all of those holes. I still have decals on the bus. Those have to come off before I can paint. I have bodywork that I have to address. That has to happen before I can paint. And on top of that, there's probably 50 other things I haven't even thought of that I have to do before I can paint. On top of all of those things, I still have to wash the bus down. I've got to wipe it down with mineral spirits and then I've got to get everything taped and bagged and then, only then, I can prime and then I can paint. So there's a lot that I'm gonna to have to do over these next few days, maybe even weeks, but I am going to take it a piece at a time and chip away slowly. Hopefully by the end of this process, I will have a beautiful new paint job on this bus. <laughs> got all the side trim back on the bus. It took me quite a while. I did have to fill in the old holes and then I had to drill new holes. It ended up being about 250 holes in total. I'm still feeling it in my wrist and my hand, so I'm glad to have that part of the project behind me. Now Morgan and I are just gonna focus on wire brushing and sanding the entire bus. I've still got a little bit of body work that I gotta take care of, so we're just gonna keep chipping away.
bus, there was some prior damage on the left rear end, and that's what you can see right here. Now, it doesn't look as bad as it did when I bought it because I've already taken a hammer to it and tried to really bring it back out and make the contour match the rest of the panel, but um, I'm not real happy with the way that it's looking. I've probably spent about an hour, hour and a half on it. I could probably spend some more time on it and maybe get it to a better place, but what I've decided to do is to just cut out this panel and to put a new panel over it. So I've got my measurements. I'm going to go get it cut and then get it installed right here. There are three of these trim pieces on the front of the bus. There are two small ones and one big one. I've pulled the two small ones off of the bus, but the big one looks like it would break if I pulled it off the bus. And this is something that you have to consider when you're doing your own project. Some of these pieces are old. My bus in particular is 12 years old. And so when I start to pull pieces off of it, there's always the potential that it might break. Screws might break. The piece just might not want to go back together the way that it came apart. So you have to consider that and you have to weigh your options. Maybe it's something where you don't need to take certain pieces off the bus. For me, I've got a pretty good feel of what's gonna break and not break on this bus, so I've gone ahead and pulled these off, and I'm painting them now just to give everything that smooth and clean look on the front. This is where the first window is going to go. As you can see, I measured it out a couple days ago, but I'm gonna take my time while I'm cutting it. I wanna make sure that I don't make any mistakes because this is a big deal. I'm cutting another hole in the side of this bus.
Last night I finished cutting the holes for the windows, at least for now. I actually still have two more to do, but those windows are on back order and I don't want to cut the holes until I have the windows in hand, but these windows completely change the look of the bus. Now that I have that part done, I am hoping today will be the last full day of paint prep. I still have to tape the bus, I still have to bag the bus, and then tomorrow Morgan is going to come over first thing in the morning and we are going to get this bus wiped down with mineral spirits so that we can prime and paint tomorrow. Morgan and I have spent the whole morning prepping the bus, just making sure that it's good to go so that we can prime and paint today. We've wiped this whole bus down with mineral spirits. So I'm gonna start priming here in a few minutes. I'm gonna use that same epoxy primer I used in past videos. Today we made sure we got a respirator and a mask because I'm gonna be doing a lot of painting today. This epoxy primer only takes about an hour, hour and a half to dry. So right when it gets done drying, I'm gonna come out with my paint and we're gonna change the entire look of this bus today. finished putting the second coat of primer on the bus and it looks great so that means in a couple hours I'm gonna be able to put my first coat of paint on the bus it's very exciting but that's gonna be in the next video remember if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button below follow us on Instagram at sojourn.expedition and make sure you hit the subscribe button with the little bell before you leave just to make sure that you get notifications as we post videos moving forward and as always thank you so much for watching